What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon BDSP VGC video. Today, I first of all, I have to say once again, sorry if you didn't watch yesterday's video. I do apologize for the lack of uploads lately. However, I'm done with classes for this semester. I only have one semester left and then your boy is going to be a physicist. So, you know, what do physicists do when they don't have to do physics? We make evasion teams, because if there's anything I love, it's statistics. So, basically... <laughs> This is just like the worst thing ever. I'm gonna I'm gonna outright say this. This team is mainly meant to abuse evasion uh, in terms of Gliscor, and then the rest of the team is just like a standard sand offense team. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this nameplay in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite and what is your least favorite of Asian Pokemon? So basically, like, I don't know, some people... I, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, oh yeah, Gliscor with Evasion, that's kind of cool, that's kind of cool, but um, I face Chansey and I hate that, so, you know, let me know, favorite, least favorite, and leave a like and let's go ahead and get into it. So, what I have here is a pretty standard Lumberry Tyranitar, just max HP, max attack, four speed, just in case I, you know, face opposing Tyranitar, I want to try to be a little bit faster. I'm sure I could run a more ideal spread on this guy, but uh, he's mostly just here to help deal with Cresselia and stuff. Of course, we also have Scissor on that front, but... Yeah, we have a Scope Lens Togekiss, uh, which is just running a very bulky spread. It's able to take one uh, non-life orb, non-choice band bullet punch from opposing Scizor. It's got D Gleam, Air Slash, Follow Me, Protect, just standard bulky, fast Togekiss with crit. Uh, we have a specially defensive Milotic, Leftovers, Competitive, Scald, Recover, Hypnosis, Coil. We have Citrus Berry, Hitmon Top. Um, this guy is able to take one crit Modest Dazzling Gleam from opposing Togekiss and just is generally very physically bulky. Uh, it's nice for supporting the team with Fake Out. That's especially nice next to Gliscor because I get one free double team pretty much. Uh, close Combat, Wide Guard. Wide Guard's actually great for blocking things like uh, Muddy Water from opposing Ludicolo or even just blocking like Earthquakes for Pokemon like T-Tar. That's always amazing. Uh, and of course, we have Faint to Break Subs, or not Subs, uh, Protects. And we have this Gliscor. Now, this thing, <laughs> if you watched my battle versus main, uh, this thing wasn't very bulky, but I fixed that. I focused mainly on speed originally, because I'm like, man, Gliscor, if I'm dodging hits, I don't need to live hits. I just need to make sure I get that uh, that evasion boost off with double team. But I've learned the error of my ways. If I'm going to play evasion, I'm going to make sure I am bulky and not able to be KO'd. So this guy is able to be three hit KO'd by crit Dazzling Gleam from Togekiss. In fact, let me show you that, that calc right here, because that's actually like a really nasty calc. So if we open up uh, Togekiss... Maybe I'm dumb and I didn't do crit. Maybe I just did regular. I might be stupid. I might be stupid. I, for, I, I I'm not even showing this to you guys at this point. I'm just reminding myself. So yeah, uh, crit dazzling gleam only does 47% to this Gly score, uh, which means that if they land one hit, they they got an upwards battle. Because if I have an evasion boost, they might not even land the rest. We're also able to take plus two dragon claw from opposing uh, Garchomp. Uh, we're running. Roost, Double Team, Earthquake, and Ice Fang. Ice Fang is just there so I don't get walled by the two best Pokemon in the format, um, you know, barring Cresselia. Uh, and also, we're two-hit KOing opposing Garchomp with Ice Fang and four-hit KOing opposing Togekiss with Ice Fang. Yeah, like, this thing's damage output isn't that great, but it's mainly meant to just be a nuisance and sit in the field for a while. And finally, we just have Life Orb, Scizor with Technician, Bullet Punch, um, Swords Dance, X Scissor Protect. Just a very standard Scizor. Uh, once again, max HP, max attack, 4 speed, kind of like the T-Tar. Um, except here, you know, this thing is more likely to get intimidated than a, Mil or than a Tyranitar, so it helps out with Milotic next to it. Uh, we're able to bait out a lot of Arcanine, since Arcanine's like one of the best Intimidators in the format, and one of the best Fire Types. Uh, we have a lot of our bases covered, but yeah, I've hardly tested this. I've, I've played a couple of games with it, and I'm on low ladder because, you know, I, I I don't know. I can't bother myself to keep using the same team. I just keep using random stuff. I need like a dedicated testing account like I used to have back in the day, but that's that's besides the point. Um, do I want to immediately go for evasion cheese? I, I don't know. Evasion is usually better in the back because it's so bulky. It's just like it, it's scary for things to face, you know. I also have to be really careful for um, this Cresselia because Cresselia is really annoying for um, Gliscor. You know, Ice Beam is kind of standard on that thing. Uh, and this actually looks like a really cool team, actually. You know, they have access to Tailwind, Inner Focus is kind of rampant here. Um, do I want to lead off Scizor? I don't think they're going to lead Cress. Uh, I might be able to just go Gliscor, Hitmontop, and just go for the Cheese immediately. 
Uh, obviously Sand Veil plus Bright Powder is nasty in this. Uh, and I think my last Mon, uh, I think I go Milotic here over Togekiss purely because Garchomp isn't much of an issue and I want to make sure I can deal with, um, I want to make sure I can deal with uh, the Arcanine effectively and honestly just baiting out an Intimidate would be amazing. Here we actually see they lead off with Raichu and Suicune. Um, do I want to immediately... They should be faking out my Gliscor. I can go for like close combat here. I think I just go for the close combat because close combat into faint should KO a Raichu. And I'm actually gonna go right into Milotic just because they should be faking out Gliscor. Like there's no chance they fake out him on top, right? I don't know. That's just my thoughts. I didn't say GLHF. They actually fake out the hit on top. Okay. Uh, a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. Can't lie. Can't lie. I'm going to go right back out into Gliscor, and I'm going to attempt that close combat once more, because getting rid of Raichu is going to be really nice for Milotic. Um, they shouldn't really double into it. They might go for a Scald into my hit on top, but it's whatever as long as I don't get burned. And I, I really see very little chance they stay in, or they, you know, they don't go for this. Um... There's a Skull, don't burn. All right, nice. And that is within range of Faint, so I can go for that. I'm going to double out into my Milotic again in case they want to go out into their Arcanine. And I'm going to go for the Faint KO on this guy. So we should effectively get rid of Raichu. If it wants to protect, it's going to get KO'd anyways. Nice, so we get the Raichu here. I'm going to take... Oh, okay, nice. No burn, which is kind of kind of cool. I don't think I really mind. Uh, nothing on this team gets toxic. Nothing in this game gets toxic. And oh, 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 I'm sorry for your loss, friend. I am sorry for your loss. Uh, let me just go ahead and get rid of that immediately. It's going to make my Gliscor win kind of a lot easier in the end. And yeah, they're just going to forfeit. I think they recognize that I kind of got them in a pin there. Because what on their team do they have to deal with? Intimidate, spam, plus Milotic. Not much. Not much. So that's nice. Ah, uh, geez. I just realized I have to, like, mute the audio on the front end of the video. Here we go. Because I, I, I record my audio on Audacity and also in-game. So I just realized that I was recording in both. And that means I have to mute it when I edit this. Okay. Hopefully I don't forget to do that. Uh, ooh, wait. Hold on. This is a nasty Gliscor game if I can get it going. And I think... I think I can get it going. Obviously, we have to be careful with the Azumarill. Uh, but Scizor is going to be like my best friend there since I should outspeed it. Azumarill's, what's Azumarill's base speed again? Like 45, 50? 50, okay. So my bullet punch does go first. I'm going to go hit Montop, Gliscor in the lead, uh, Scizor in the back. And I'm kind of obligated to go, uh, kind of obligated to go T-Tar. Just to make sure I don't lose. Just saying, never mind me. What? Oh, he knows. Oh, wait, is this... It is you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think... I think... <laughs> so you know... About the Gliscor. Okay. They know They know about the Gliscor. Alright, hopefully... <laughs> hopefully I can pull a fast one on them. He, he obviously watched my video. Or at the very least follows me on Twitter and saw me posting funny Gliscor clips. Funny Gliscor compilation number one, Moxie boosted compilation something something. Um, I'm gonna go right out into my Scizor to threaten this thing. And actually, do I wanna? I'm gonna fake out Clefable. And I'm gonna go into my Scizor. Let's see if they have Ice Beam. SD, that's fine. Uh, I can CC into this guy. The question is, do they have freaking... All right. Um, I think CC plus Swords Dance Bullet Punch should KO. If they bullet punch me, that's fine. Glad I'm this bulky. This hit on top's just built different. And they have Flamethrower. Jeez. Jeez. Gee whiz. Okay, I have an out. It's just not a fun out. Is my play... Um, I mean, they're just going to go for the Ice Beam anyways. I might just lose here. 
I'm gonna go for it. This is like such a sussy out. Just just a little sussy out. I'm gonna double team immediately. Uh, Cause I have to dodge an ice beam. Like obviously they have coverage on this thing. Bullet punch, I live. Thank you, Tyranitar. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let me protect Earthquake. They don't have the move they need to win. Uh, protect Earthquake. That should KO the Scizor, and they don't have Ice Beam, which is huge, because they would have gone for it. They miss? Oh, Gliscor, baby. Gliscor, baby. All right, nice. I might be able to... Oh, my God, I might win this. Um, My play here, I have to keep Hitmon top alive. I'm going to Rock Slide. Actually, do I... Mm, do I need this thing? It's probably got Scald is the issue. I still Rock Slide. Uh, I, Earthquake's like my best play, obviously, but I'm going to KO my own T-Tar. I suppose I can go for the double. Because regardless, Earthquake's my best play, and I have to go for it. And I'm super special defensive, so I should easily take a Scald. And their chances of hitting me are kind of low. Failed the double, that's fine. They go for the follow me, they go for the Scald, they miss. Beautiful. Oh my god, this, this is exactly what I wanted from this live. Okay, and now I can wide guard spam. Because I am faster than that Clefable. Wide guard, Earthquake. They have no reason to follow me, but um, Gliscor is faster. And they should be going for another Scald. Hopefully they miss. Because even though I take it pretty well, it's like, I don't want to get burned. Because then I have to do more Earthquakes than I want to. And then if it comes down to like Azumarill versus Gliscor, it's not going to be, it's not going to be pretty. There's no chance they didn't bring a zoom roll, right? They land the skull, don't burn me, they get a crit too. Okay, all right. Oh, that's actually really bad for me. Uh, I have to roost here and I'm going to attempt to faint. Faint should KO. And then I roost and then I should be able to win this. Yeah, okay. Ice Fang, I'm super special defensive and I am faster. Oh no, I'm not faster. All right, please tell me. All right, that doesn't do enough. Oh, and that's a two-hit KO. As long as I don't get a low row here, I should win. They missed the Psychic, GG. Well played. Nice, okay. No, it's just evasion. It's dumb. <laughs> I have to let them know. Like, I, I, there's, there's, there's gonna be like one of two outcomes with every match we play today. It's either gonna be like, Man, I saw- oh. Hold, okay, hold on. What's going on here? We got a fellow Gliscor enthusiast. And double weather? I might not be able to keep my sand veil up. I really don't want to lose this. I feel like I lose like the weirdest teams. Like I'm, I'm fine against like standard stuff, but if I like- <laughs> If I face stuff like this, I like don't know what to do and I like panic. Which speaks to my lack of fundamentals in the game. So, you know. Alright. Uh, I can go- Hit him on top pretty easily on lead. And honestly, like, this team has nothing for Gliscor if I can get it set up. I need T-Tar in the back, obviously. Um, and yeah, like, here's the thing. If the sand's up, he's never connecting a Blizzard. And if he does, I'm going to call BS. Because inaccurate move plus sand plus bright powder plus you fell off plus ratio. You know, like, it's not going to work. Uh, and my last Mon, honestly, my Lotic goes crazy here. All right, cool. This is my opportunity. There's no chance you connect. I could also just close combat, but I'm relatively certain that they're not gonna... I shouldn't do this. I should go for the fake gun to Slow King and immediately go into T-Tar. Like, what am I doing? Staying over this thing. That's such a risk. Like, there's no reason to go for that risk. Okay. And now, Assurance should KO the Slow King so they never get Trick Room off, and that's obviously what they want. Um, the only thing is I have to go for, like, Faint plus Assurance because my close combat... Is gonna go before. I think I'm slower. Am I slower? 91, 82. I mean, it is. It would do more. Would it? 120, 60, 30. I suppose it doesn't matter, and this also prevents a protect, so I'll just go for it. Not taunt. What am I doing? Faint. Assurance. Alright, no protect. This should do it. Now that's 120. Nice. And if they go back into that uh, Obama Snow, I just click Wide Guard and go into my Milotic. Yeah. Actually, is there even a need to Wide Guard? I can just Close Combat. Close Combat should get rid of Obama Snow, and then I'm, like, obviously going to win. And if they EQ, I eat it. 
Nice. They went for the rock slide as well. This is going... I, I know we're on low ladder, obviously, right? But I didn't expect my luck-based strategy to be going well. All right, there's the boy. Uh, I'm going to go into T-Tar and I'm going to Scald. Actually, I just gave him a special defense boost, but I don't think I really care. This goes for the crunch. Okay. Uh, yeah, Scald plus Assurance should do it. And... Um, maybe I'm recording right now. Yeah, that'll KO. And now I just win, because... Another Scald plus Assurance play, and we're good. Didn't really get to use the Gliscor that game, but that's fine. That's fine. I kind of baited. Whoop. Let me say, uh, no problem, bro. Have a nice one. Okay. Let's see. Okay, no. Gliscor goes crazy in this game if they let me get going. Glass Square actually would go crazy if they let me get going here. Um, I mean, I can just lead off with it. Obviously, like Crobat can be a little, bit, it can be a little bit annoying, but uh, excuse me. <coughs> let me think. They don't lead Arcanine versus me, right? There's no chance. Not versus this team. So I'm gonna go top Glass Score again. Um, this thing doesn't carry Ice Beam, so really his only way of dealing with this thing is by hitting me with a Draco or connecting like a Scald with Raikou. Raikou's obviously like picking up in usage right now. It's kind of cool. I definitely want to bring my Milotic. Do I? I mean, Scissor is also pretty good here. I definitely want to bring T-Tar. T-Tar goes crazy. I'll go, I'll go Milotic again. I'll go Milotic. It's it's nice and reliable. Is uh, They end up leading off with Crobat Raikou. Might as well just go for it immediately, I guess. Might as well. We, we've already gotten what we wanted. Like, at this point, I might as well just go for cheese. But Mar Mar Marcos Boosted, I came here for high-quality gameplay, and you're just you're just clicking evasion buttons. I, I, wanted you, I wanted to see you make plays. Well, guess what? That was the play right there. They're never going to hit me again, you see? Yeah? Yeah? That's what happens. When you don't listen to me, you know, when you don't listen to me, you never quite get that that understanding of how this game works. I, I'm like in their head. I'm not. I'm obviously not in their head. Uh, Rock Slide plus Ice Fang should do it, and I'm gonna double team again. So they go Arcanine. I don't mind as long as I like can't get hit. Like this is whatever. I'm already in a position where it's like, hey, you know, don't mess with me. So they go Latios. All right. Um, I'm pretty cool with that. Ice Fling, yeah, Ice Fling. Ice Fling plus Assurance should do a lot, and I don't think I get KO'd unless they go for, like, a CC. Which, obviously, the Arcanine could go for a CC, but I'm just going to get rid of this. Hopefully, they don't have close combat, because otherwise, I, I keep my guy. I suppose also, like, Specs Draco might do it, but if it's not Specs, I should tank it just because of Tyranitar's absurd special defense in the sand. Come on, baby. Ice Fang Assurance. If, it, here's the thing. Like, even if it doesn't KO, the sand is just super helpful. Like, forgetting the chip. As they go Crobat, that's amazing. They go for a Dragon Pulse. No chance that KOs. Give me this. Give me this. There's a crit. Didn't matter. Boom. All right, they're just going to go into their Arcanine again. But honestly, I think I'm in a position where it's hard for them to win. Because the Raikou, if it has Reflect and Volt Switch, we can assume it also has uh, Light Screen and it's, a, it's items like Clay. Um, and with that information, like, we can just infer the fact that it doesn't have Scald. Like, it's gotta have, like, Protect or Discharge or something. Uh, and I'll just deal with this Crobat first. Crobat's, like, the only thing that's kind of annoying. Yeah. Th that's what I mean. Like, this thing, like, doesn't have great damage output, but all it doesn't need to. It has moves with high PP. It's got everything it needs. Okay, it seems I am the one who misses now. Um, most likely just going to get Brave Birded. I don't really need T-Tar to win. I just need it for Sand. Um, I'm just going to try to get rid of this thing. Getting rid of Arcanine soon is going to be nice. Scald should do it. They could double into me, but I'm just going to 
Yeah. They go for a... That was a dumb play. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, bud. There aren't many... Okay, it seems I am the inaccurate one now. This is just like... <laughs> I deserve this, in all honesty. I deserve this for what I'm doing in this game. Uh, let me go right into... Well, who am I saying? They're never going to hit me, but I'm, just, I'm still going to go into T-Tar, and I'm just going to deal with the Crobat. Yeah. Like, I, I probably hard wall the Raikou. I don't think they have Scald. Because they miss me. Hit me with a T-Bolt. That's fine. You're never going to hit me again. All right. I'm going to go right back into top, because I don't need it to win. I just need to click Earthquake in a couple of turns, and I'm going to go for this. Basically, I'm just keeping Titar alive as a win con for later on when I need to probably set up sand, considering how long this game's gonna go. Yeah, that's fine. That recoil plus the sand plus Ice Fang should do it. They go for a Thunderbolt. That is absolutely fine. And in comes my Milotic. I'm gonna go for the Scald because my Earthquake doesn't knock me out, but I hard wall this thing, so I win. GG's. GG's. Okay. We're at the 21 minute mark. I'll, I'll do one more battle. Maybe two. It depends. All right, let's see what we can do. So far, like the Gly score, like yeah, I, I keep I keep having to say it, fellas. We're on low ladder. I gotta like I, I need to start laddering on this account, man. But I, I can't be bothered. I guess now I can because I'm like not in school, but you know. Uh, let me see. I I mean I see very little reason not to lead off my Lodic. Um, my Lodic top doesn't seem that bad. Honestly, I think I leave Gliscor in the back of this game and kind of just use him as like a last chance win con or actually even even without it like, you know, Scissor goes crazy in this match too. Uh I'll go I'll go Scissor Milotic. Hit my time of the back is obviously very great. And maybe I just leave Gliscor at home this game. They have quite a few ways of dealing with it. Actually not really, but it just doesn't seem ideal like when I can just power through their whole team with Milotic Scizor. Uh, what's my last bond, though? I mean, I could take or leave pretty much everything else. Let's go Gliscor for fun. Why not? He's already putting in the mad work. Okay. So what I could do here is, assuming they're just going to go ahead and go for the fake out on my Scizor, I can go for a Coil. Actually, they're just going to Trick Room. They're going to fake out Trick Room. Uh, my play here is to cycle in my Hitmon top as soon as possible. So that would want to go into the Scizor slot. Uh, I'll go for a Coil here. Or I suppose I can just go for the Raw Hypnosis on Hariyama and try to prevent a burn. I don't mind Trick Room going up, really. Going to Hitmon top, getting Intimidate. They go for the fake out. I land my hypnosis, which is amazing. And now, now they're in a world of pain. Let me go for this fake out into the executor. No chance they go into Arcanine here. And now I go into my Milotic and I'm gonna go ahead and go for a swords dance. So they wake up, go for the CC. They get the sleep powder off, which is kind of annoying, in all honesty. A little bit annoying. Mm. I technically already burned a turn of sleep. I can go for an X scissor into this executor and get back in my top. Yeah, as they just leave Storm. I can take that, get my Citrus Berry. I wake up, which means executor is just gone, gone. And obviously their Hariyama's fake out is going to go before mine. But I can kind of put them in between a rock and a hard place if I do my positioning well. Um, they're going to fake out my, my Scizor. Which means that my ideal play is to be able to cycle as many Intimidates as I can. I kind of wish I had U-turn on this guy now. Uh, my, my Milotic's more important to winning this game. And Bullet Punch is going to be huge in the endgame, too. 
Especially if I can like go for like a faint plus bullet punch. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what my play is? Trick Room ends this turn. Trick Room ends this turn. I still fake out the the Azu, right? And I still get my Swords Dance. And hit, yeah, and hit my tops faster. So I still go for Bullet Punch and I still go for Faint. And this should prevent a Belly Drum. Yeah, nice. Nice, okay. They can still technically Belly Drum, but they're not in a position to really go for it. Um, I think EQ Wide Guard's fine here. Because if they have an Arcanine in the back, I just went with Milotic. And if they if they even try to go for the Belly Drum, they lose. There's the Scizor. That's still fine. And they should be in range of... I should easily take a Bullet Punch from here. I'm going to double team in close combat. This might be a throw. Or it's an absolute win. That's a, that's another alternative there. Um, EQ wide guard. Bullet punch. They do connect that. Let's see if they aqua jet. They miss the aqua jet. Thank you, Scizor. Or thank you, Gliscor. Thank you. All right. Now, here's the thing. Um, what's their play here? I kind of want to go for the... F I think I EQ and go into my Lodic now. Bullet Punch, come on, miss, miss, miss. They do connect, but that's fine because now I'm in a winning position. Uh, my play here is going to be to... I mean, they should protect, right? I think my play is faint coil because Hariyama is going to come in. Yeah. I got my coil off, which is amazing. And this Azumarill might be in range of Scald. Do I close combat, or is Faint plus Scald enough? Regardless, Bullet Punch is going to go first. So, this is really close. I want a Faint plus Scald, but I'm really scared. I could also attempt a, a Hypnosis. It's not terribly inaccurate. I think it's better just to go for the KO. Uh, Jeez. Okay, I'm going to close combat Scald. Bullet punch? Alright, that's fine. Because this thing's going to knock itself out next turn. Oh, I should have fainted. Burn? <sighs> not quite, not quite. Uh, jeez. Okay. My play here, I think, is to... Because Scizor knocks itself out on me. It takes 10%. They're going to protect here. I'm going to coil. They did not. They swords dance. Okay. Play rough. Alright, no attack drop, unfortunately. I always scald the scissor now. Bullet punch. Yeah, that's fine. I do get the, the boost, which is amazing. I'm gonna scald again. They can't beat me, I think. Just because of like the defense boosts I have, and I should be faster than Hariyama and now I have my boost. They'd have to crit me, is the issue. Bullet punch, and I still get my leftovers. Okay, this is going to be really close, but I think I win. Basically, they have to fake out here. In the fake out, I think I still get net recovery. Or actually, you know what my play is? You know what my play is? I always go for recover here because they're going to close combat me, and then I live, and then I guarantee get the KO. I still recover because I, I, I might not KO unless... Yeah. Because I'm going to be at full, and then I tank this. Oh, easy, easy. 
I'm a little bit scared that it still might not KO because depending on how they built this thing, because I know Hariyama takes crazy hits and it, it, I don't know. I'm just I'm setting myself to I'm setting myself up to get crit here, but I'm still going to recover. OK, I win. Nice. GG. Yeah, I was setting myself up to get crit there, but I, I think I'm fine now. Nice. Okay, that was so intense, man. That was so intense. But we also hit the half hour mark, so I'm going to call it there, guys. We went undefeated in this session with a Gliscor team. And yeah, the Gliscor evasion kind of came in clutch a couple of turns. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this how this live turned out. Um, info for the team is going to be in my Discord. You can join that uh, to get it. Uh, you'll see it in the, like, the Moxie Teams channel. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications. And I'll see you in the next one.